Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, it's your boy Terrence Carter, and I'm here. Oh Lord, back at it again with another video. Now, first things first, man. Shout out to God for allowing me to see another year of life. I am truly, truly, you know, thankful to bring in the age of 29 with y'all. And I'm um, thankful to see another birthday. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday I was able to celebrate my birthday with those, with those that matter the most. You know, with those that mean a lot to me. With my family members, you know, with Marvin Lee's. And um, it really, really meant a lot to me. You know what I'm saying? So I have to show my utmost gratitude. I also want to talk about, because today's video, we're really going to talk about how senior retention and no fat high key is going to make you feel superhuman. But I had to show my gratitude for seeing another year of life, bro. Life is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Um, I also want to give a huge shout out, of course, to everybody that's been supporting the channel. Anybody that's new to the channel, a returning supporter, anybody that's in the same retention and no flat community, I want you guys to keep on elevating and evolving. And Continuing to change your perspective on life, bro, because semen retention is where your real power is at. No longer being addicted to watching other human beings fornicate and putting that energy and that time into, into your own self, into your craft, into your, your goals, into serving other people. Like, that's really where it's at, bro. You know, the reason why I say, like, you, you, you will definitely feel superhuman is because, like, your energy matters. Like your life force essence matters and they want you to think that pornography is, is healthy and it's beneficial for you and they want you to feel as if like feeling depleted is a natural state of being that's a natural way of feeling and it's really not you know when you when you retain your seed you have purified energy flowing through you that is here to amplify your life and help you discipline yourself and have self-control you know what i'm saying the more that you that you have the self-control, the more that you value in your life. You know, the more emotional stability that you have, emotional intelligence that you have, the more that you're connected to the higher source, the higher power within. And the reason why I'm expressing this is because I know that as men, especially as men, very sometimes you get into these, these emotional states where you're angry and you're in a low vibrational state and you start to have that I don't care attitude. I don't care what happens. But then you gotta also realize like how much work are you consistently putting in to get the things that you want in this reality because that shit matters, you know? You should care, you should honestly care about the things that you have going on for yourself and not allow your emotions to get the best in. You feel me? That's that's fact, right? Why do y'all think like men walk around so angry and keep things bottled up and feel as if they can't express their emotions to nobody? But why do you think like men Men and women too, bro. Like they be out here in the streets, they be joining games, all that low vibration shit. It all stems from what, bro? Like it stems from you not valuing your energy, you not valuing your time, you living in your lower nature instead of uplifting your spirits, uplifting your energy, uplifting your vibration and your frequency, so that you can attract the things that you want into your human experience, so that the universe can attract the people into your human experience that are meant to grow and elevate and evolve. So that you can learn how to value your time, value your essence, put that put that energy into your creativity. You feel me? Don't be a bot in this matrix. Meaning, don't be so caught up in the street, don't be so caught up in the low vibrations. Because that's not going to help you, that's not going to help humanity. Don't be so caught up in watching other human beings fornicate and have sex. Because how is that helping your mental state? How is that helping you amplify? How is that helping you? You know, amplify yourself, amplify your energy. How is that helping your aura? How is that helping your, 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 your state of mind? Right? How has pornography helped any man or woman in this human experience? 
But I can tell you though for sure is that being on semen retention and no fat will help you out. It's gonna help you grow mentally. It's gonna help you grow connections beyond the physical. It's gonna help you grow spiritually. We gotta understand that this is a spiritual, this, we are spiritual beings having a human experience, right? So your spirit is gonna feel naturally nourished and naturally purified because you're not doing the things that's wrong, you're doing the things that's right, which is retaining your seed, which is moving with God, which is living in your purpose, right? Which is serving yourself, serving others, adding value to the world, staying consistent with that. Imagine paying yourself every time that you hold on to your seed. Paying yourself first. Because you could, you could waste your, your money paying the people on OnlyFans, you could waste your money paying the people on Pornhub, XXX videos, all that extra stuff. Why not pay yourself first, retaining your seed, becoming more vital on the inside? This energy got the ability to create a child, bro. Like, people gonna sleep on this own sexual energy knowing that you can bring another version of yourself into this reality. Why do y'all think that they have, like, these sperm banks? Really, really, really think about that. Really, all your time. They have sperm banks. They tell you to look at a magazine and release your seed and put it in a cup so that you can create a child. Somebody somebody wants to, however they do it, right? It's called a surrogate, I guess. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but however they do it, right? They want men to be weak. They want men to, to, to not know who they truly are, to not have self-control. You can't be controlled by, by, the, by the lower self wanting to watch other people have sex. And then think about it too, bro. That's, that's messing up your own fornication life. How you expect to watch other people have sex? And then when you get with your woman, you got erectile dysfunction, you got premature ejaculation, you got performance anxiety, all because of what? Because of the outside forces. But when you learn how to go within, you know that none of this shit outside of you can stop you. You know that you have the control to stop watching porn. You know that you have the, the self-control to really retain your seed, bro, and stay true to that. Real talk, bro. Real talk. That's why I'm always giving shout outs to everybody in the retention and OFAC community. Always giving shout outs to everybody that supports this channel, bruh. Cause this this way of living is 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 it. This is it, bruh. This is it. This is gonna help me see the world totally different. Totally different. Sexual energy is the power is the most powerful energy we hold. You have to become more consciously aware of it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be more consciously aware of what are you doing on a day to day? Are you really mastering yourself? Are you studying yourself? That's, that's what this is gonna require you to do. Study yourself, perfect your craft, love yourself unconditionally, you know, value yourself, value your time, respect yourself, respect those around you, value those around you. You know what I'm saying? Really, really doing the shadow work, the inner work, really staying in tune with yourself because they don't want you to do that. Redirecting the energy into different areas of your life. I work out. I'm serving others every day. I'm working on my finances. I'm working on myself. I'm journaling. I'm adding to the YouTube channel. I've created a website already where I sell clothes. You know what I'm saying? I am going to add more value to that. I've been working on the ebook. I already told y'all that. You know, like, I'm thinking of different, different uh, uh, sources of income. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, I'm really learning myself and I'm learning that, yes, bro, like in this human experience, bro, like we are, we are electromagnetic beings, bro, you are a money magnet, you are a powerful being, you are a spiritual being having this human experience, so what you think you could do, you could do it, that same energy and time that you, that you put in it to, oh, I want to watch this video so I can get my inner dopamine, I want to release my seeds so I can get inner dopamine, you can put that time and that energy, thinking about how can I create, how can I create a better reality for me, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially, how can I create, how can I add value to the world, how can I continue to live my purpose, you know, this, this, this journey is going to teach you a lot, bro, the average person walk around with no energy, you get on semen retention, you have unlimited energy. It's the same way, you see how you try to like update your player in 2K, you try to work on the attributes. Any video game that they put in front of you, you can do the same shit in real life, right? You're working on your attributes, 
in 2K, you can work on your attributes in real life. In GTA, you try to put in a G code to get unlimited money and all this extra stuff, right? In real life, the G code is the stock money. I'm gonna keep real job. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep real job, right? That's the cheap. Investing your money and letting your money work for you. That's it. The younger you start, the better it gets. The more consistent you are, the better it gets. Uh, you put that time and energy in and watch your PMO, you release your seed, boom. The cheat code is retaining your seed is gonna give you all your power back. And you will no longer be addicted to watching other human beings. You know, the more that you tell yourself you could do something, you could do it. The more that you tell yourself you can't do something, well then you're not gonna do it. Because you're giving yourself the, 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 the answers. You give yourself the permission to be great and attack with your higher self and to connect with your inner world. You also give yourself the permission to be your seed and be that low vibrational state, be in that low vibrational state and only know that version of yourself. You have to learn a different version of yourself, right? You have to learn who you truly are. And I'm telling y'all, the porn addict is not who you truly are, right? You know how you feel when you release. You, you know how you feel. So if I'm trying to explain to y'all, like, learn how it feels to retain Learn how it feels to have purified essence, purified energy within so that you can just be your true authentic self, right? Without a, without a worry, without worrying about what other people think or worrying about how other people perceive you or worrying about validation from other people, you validate yourself. You're going to be confident in yourself because you took your power back. It's like you have porn industry here, you got you. You could take your power back by leaving the industry alone, leave them over here, you keep yourself here. Or you could give them your energy and now you're left with nothing. Take your power back, fellas. Retain your seed, take this journey serious. Connect with yourself, connect with the Most High God. Allow God to, to, to help you connect with others, bruh. Allow God to show you what this, what this journey can do, what this experience is, what it has for you. You know, and take it day by day. Be consistent with it. Don't be so quick to give up. Don't be so eager to feed it to an urge. Don't be so eager to say, oh, I'm not seeing benefits. That's, that, those are false beliefs. When you tell yourself I'm not seeing benefits, you're not even taking the time out to, to pay attention to how you truly feel. Because you will see benefits super fast for retention. I don't care who you are. And I understand we've all been addicted to porn for years and years and years. But when you let it go and you learn how to retain your seed, your body is going to naturally thank you. Thank you. We finally have energy within. Thank you. We finally have creative essence. Oh, our brain is getting more clear now. Oh, the energy is falling through our spine. Oh, we're becoming more enlightened now. Oh, now I got more control over my own self. Oh, now I got more control over my time, my energy. And you just want to start asking yourself a whole bunch of questions. Why was I wasting so much time on porn? Why was I chasing my pleasure so much instead of staying on my focus? Instead of staying focused on my purpose? Why was I so in my low vibrational state instead of living in the higher self? But you will always get the answers. The answers are within and God is going to show you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just really got to stay true to this experience, bro. Like, stay true to this journey. And, um, be grateful for everything, you know? Be grateful for everything. I was able to spend time with the people that were closest to me yesterday, which I was truly, truly grateful for, you know? And I was able to see another birthday, right? God has allowed me to see 29 years now. With this knowledge and this awareness of seeing my intention and no bad right? Like, this, is, this is beautiful. And I, I, I always want the best of myself to continue to evolve and elevate and see this world totally different than how I didn't want you to see it, you know? Learning what comes to life, bro. Loving life unconditionally. Knowing that life has its highs and its lows, but you gotta keep going, you gotta keep pushing, bro. Also knowing that competition, competition is an illusion. You get on social media, you scroll, you scroll, you scroll, and they want you to think that you're not living at your, your, your best self because of what you see everybody else doing. But when you in tune with your own reality, you start to, your, your higher self even knows, bro. Spend more time with yourself and not necessarily scrolling on social media. Spend more time with yourself and learning yourself and not necessarily watching people on the screen pouring the cake. Just get to know who you truly are. You are a powerful being. Don't let nobody take that away from you. I hope somebody gained something from today.
I like the, the, the superhuman within you, but I like your real powers. It's retaining, it's leaving point alone, it's having self control, it's having self discipline. Practice makes perfect, practice makes permanent. The more that you practice something, the better you're gonna get at it. It's like when you were the baby, bro, you had to crawl before you walk. Before you started running, you had to learn how to walk. And once you started running, you're like, oh yeah, I'm out of here, let's go! Word! Taking one day at a time and then see it for yourself, right? The energy is gonna speak for itself. Bird. Yes, sir. Right. Appreciate y'all, man. I love y'all. Keep staying tapped in, keep staying true to yourself. Take the journey one day at a time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know how your retention journey been going. And if, and if this is your first time, if this is your first time to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. That helping me accomplish these goals on YouTube and I'm truly appreciative. I'm appreciative for real. Oh, and y'all see it, my boy. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I'm about to go out here and feed more people. Today has been I, bro. It's, it's, it's. I got out here a little bit late, but. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. It's your boy, Tom.